Hey, welcome to another Getting Into InfoSec Bytes, uh, little snippets about getting into InfoSec news, resources, and guides in under five minutes. So today's topic is, should I get a master's degree in cybersecurity? Is it worth it? And this is a very big question, very loaded question. It's not simple to answer. This is following up on a Twitter thread uh, posted by Helena Lucas. Uh, and it was actually a really good thread. I had about 180 so replies at this time of recording. And uh, a lot of good questions. I mean, you know, instinctually, personally, sometimes I, a lot of times I would say no, um, because it really depends on what you're trying to gain. In, any, in anything you're looking to gain, try to make sure that it's going to uh, gain your personal enrichment as opposed to try to get a job, because getting a job is different than your personal enrichment. Uh, and a master's degree in general is very technical, so it helps you get um, more technical. You could do more research, you could do uh, things like that. So in general, a master's degree helps you uh, take the time to get more deep and technical. Um, like I would love to do a master's degree in neuroscience, right? Neuroscience, because you know I don't have that background, so it would give me the opportunity to uh, jump into uh, cognitive neuroscience or educational psychology, for example. Um, or if I had the time, uh, maybe I would do a master's in, you know, a very specific topic uh, that would help me, you know, get really deep and, and, and things like that. Um, but you can gain this experience on your own, right? So there's a lot of, you know, so all these answers here are really valid answers and it's very particular to your situation. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Um, so, you know, if you do want to teach, if that's like your main thing, a lot of schools uh, have that issue where, uh, you need a PhD or a master's to teach. It's it's kind of crazy. I talked about that with with Tanya actually in the, in that episode. So um, uh, check that out. And uh, you know these answers are really good. Again, you know here it's a really hard question to answer, right? Um, so you know, uh, really quick answers, no, right? Um, uh, you know, T Profit had a really good answer, and that was uh, regarding to an MBA, where he has an MBA and he goes, you know, instead of actually uh spending the money and time to get an mba why don't you just try doing a startup even if you fail in my opinion right you're still gonna learn that's i think what he's saying here uh which is really cool uh and that's something to take into consideration um again there's no right or wrong answer here uh but you know take a look at this thread this thread is is filled with a lot of good uh advice um what you're looking to do again it comes you know it's the two biggest questions are what search should I get and what um, should I get a master's or, you know, what, where, where should I go? What school should I go to? Um, so let's go through some of these answers here. We have a couple of minutes. So uh, this person has an MS in cybersecurity. It's not technical, um, but her experience served her well. Um, so let's see. It's a, this person's experience served them well. So, um, Anyway, that's something to to take into consideration. Um, let's take a look at some other things here. Right, as someone who's hired a lot of grads, no, unless your project is exceptionally awesome or usable. Now, again, you know, you can gain a lot of this experience on your own. So it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're the type that only learns through like a classroom type setting and and that's how, you know, or maybe you're coming from a non-technical background uh, where you need that kind of like that, that kickstart. You have a bachelor's degree already, but you're looking for, and you can afford it. Uh, honestly, you know, from my, from my, you know, from a lot of people I talk to, I mean, it, it's a lot of money for a master's degree. So, you know, one is your work paying for it. Are you paying for out of your pocket? And are you expecting to get a job out of it, right? Because what if you don't get a job? What's, what's that going to do for you? How are you going to feel? So anyway, um, my recording is coming to a close. Uh, I hope this video was informative. Take a look at that thread. Leave a comment down below. And please like and subscribe, of course, and share this video if you think it helped you. It might help somebody else. Thanks. Bye.